Alright guys, we have an interesting vlog today. Uh, I wasn't sure how to format it or anything like that. But, today we lost some footage. And I, I've actually been thinking, this is the th my third year of vlogging. And I was surprised that that hadn't happened yet. And I was thinking, how has that not happened in, three, in almost three years? That footage from a day has been deleted or something like that. And what would I do in that situation? So, like I said yesterday, today was Uncle Bob's funeral. There was a paddle, what's it called, a paddle out? Yeah. A paddle out for it. Uh, so they released his ashes into the ocean, right? Yeah. And uh, family members were on the boat and they were also on paddle boards and surfboards. And people in the community paddled out um, to go uh, pay their respects. And so we brought the GoPro out with us as we paddled out. And unfortunately, we dropped it into the water and it is now at the bottom of the ocean. And so we don't have any footage from this morning. There are many photos, and there probably will be videos of the event online, uh, but I don't have any of it for this vlog. Oh, we, might, we might have some from our relatives. Yeah, we might be able to get some footage from the cousins and stuff. Uh, but I thought I would just tell you guys a little bit about our morning, uh, because I don't have any footage of it. So we got our wetsuits on, Hannah, Kevin, and I paddled out. I wasn't scared at all. I'm normally terrified. Well, we, we went to bed late last night and we yeah. got up at 7 a.m. Yeah, so this morning. Super early. And then we didn't have any breakfast and <laughs> then we paddled out. <laughs> and it was actually a really nice morning. All the fear that I would normally have was gone for some reason. I gotta show you, I'll show you a picture that I got online right now. Um, but I think this was just in the beginning but it grew a lot. There were tons of people out there. Uh, so we paddled out and we had about 50 to 60 people on the body glove boat. And those were all the elders and uh, Aunt Patty, Aunt Bob's wife, was on there. And they had a really beautiful ceremony, I think. Do you think? Yeah. And uh, she released one dove for Uncle Bob. She had a dove in her hand and she released it and it flew out. And then they released the whole flock. Um, it was so crazy sitting out on the surfboards because there were like these really slow rolling waves. And when you were, when the water was still, you couldn't really tell how many people were there. And then when there would be a wave in the distance, it ro like everyone on surfboards like rose where the water rose. And then you could see like how many hundreds of people were there. Yeah, it was, it was, very, it was really pretty. And after they released the doves and after the ceremony was closing, oh, uh, they, they, they sprinkled us yeah, with water. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. But, They're lifeguard boats, and they had like they shot water out of the boats, and it sprinkled on everybody, and it was really cool. I didn't know where they came up with that, but and, it created a bunch of rainbows. Everybody was uh, everybody else was, it was like splashing, splashing water. Each other. So it was like it was it was pretty much like we were in a rainstorm. It was really beautiful, and there were rainbows in the sky because of all the water. That was the only time that I actually cried at, like a, oh, you it did? was like a smile, happy cry. Kevin and I were just talking a lot about like our beliefs about what happens after you die and things like that, and just what we think about fate and all those types of things. And for some reason, I've always been a firm believer in things happening for a reason. I don't really know why. And when I lo when we lost the GoPro, I thought, what is the purpose of this? Like, this is such, I wanted to document this moment so badly. It was so important to me to show it to you guys. I'm like, why would this happen today? Like, we had the GoPro in the water several times and didn't lose it. And I've been filming my life every day for the past, you know, two and a half years almost. And there hasn't been a day where I've been in a situation like that where I could just sit there and soak it up and enjoy it and live it because I'm always thinking of the future. I'm always thinking like, oh, this will be a good shot for the video. This will be a good shot. And I never just sit there and experience it. And so I actually, it allowed me to do that because I had no camera with me. There was absolutely nothing I could do. Uh, so I really just got to be there and feel being in the moment. And now we are sitting here in a very beautiful spot that we've never met before because it's all about exploring still. And we're up in the hills of Palos Verdes. And this is the view that I'm looking at. It's got this really cool old European statue, but it's also a little inappropriate. I'll show you why right now. Well, I don't know what you guys think, but that looks a little inappropriate to me. Yeah, we just decided to drive around and look for a cool place to film. And like, they're just gonna listen to us talk for like three or four minutes, so I might as well 
put in front of something interesting, but I did get my camera after the event to go film. They had like a reception afterwards, and I filmed a few clips there. There's Uncle Bob. There he is with little Kevin and Sister Kelly. There he is, young. Probably like in his 20s, maybe. That's right. This is my favorite picture. There's the statue they're going to be building. I believe they're putting it by the aquarium that he donated to. The statue of him and his twin brother. All right, they've already printed photos of today's paddle out. Look how many people showed up. That's not even all of it, I don't think. That was in the very beginning. If I could give you guys a word of advice, it would be to just get lost sometimes. I know it sounds weird, but really? Sometimes you just find the coolest things when you have no plan and you're just going for it. Like that lake that we found with the, with the little dock, you know, yeah. in Oregon. Yeah. Like we always find the best things when we're kind of just not, when we're just in search for something nice. Like, not when you research it online or something. Because when you research on something online, you have an idea of what something's gonna be and it may be that cool, but it may not. But when you're doing something like this, you just, it just hits you. And I kinda like the mystery. Like, we found this place and I have no idea what it is. I don't know why it's here. It's found, or what the Latin or the Italian means. Um, and I like that. I like not like reading a bunch about it before and getting people's reviews of it and stuff. <laughs> okay. Alright, earlier today, I had three pennies in my pants. <laughs> and I, it was me, Hannah, and Dot. And that was the only coins I had in my pants, three pennies. This was before the ceremony or anything. And I said, here you guys go. There's a penny for each of us for a lucky penny. And I, me and Dot were just having a nice moment. And I reached into my pocket and I filled my penny and I said, this is what it was made for, to go into this fountain. So I'm going to be returning it back to its home right now. But let me just think of a wish real fast. Did you make it? Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, this just keeps getting better and better. But I just want to remind Dot that earlier today she said, I think it's going to be one of those days where things just get disappointing and disappointing. <laughs> I said, I feel like we're going to have some more misfortunes today. And all I'm saying is, hold on. All I'm saying is, I don't think so. We just stopped at the second fountain and rounded the corner and there are three, there's six peacocks, three male and three female. How you doing? <laughs> hey buddy. Hey puppy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> they're so pretty. I was just telling Dot that in Spain, a turkey is pavo and in peacock, a it's Pavo Real, Royal Turkey. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Peacock in Spanish? Yeah. What did I say? In Peacock. 
in, in, I in the it in the peacock. <laughs> yeah. God, what an idiot! Don't. Sorry about that. <laughs> we just walked up this little stone step walkway, and we discovered the awesome view, which I'm not sure if you can really see. That is the ocean, and the city right here. You can't see it very well. It's a really nice view though. Look at this. Just started driving down the PCH. This is the part of the PCH we did not drive on our road trip. And it's unbelievable. Whoa, it's crazy seeing water come right up to grass and not sand. How beautiful would it be to be flying over the sky right now? The colors are unbelievable. Looks like the coloring book. If you guys have ever seen Punch Drunk Love, this reminds me so much of it, these colors. <laughs> 